Yes. Rudolph the red nosed reindeer had a very shiny nose. And if you ever saw it, you would even say. What is up, you guys? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new, my name is Diamond. Feel free to hit the subscribe button. But as y'all can already see by today's title, we're doing a mukbang or mukbang, whatever you guys want to call it. So I'm about to turn into Chick-fil-A Shopping Center right now. So Chick-fil-A Shopping Center. The shopping center that has Chick-fil-A in it because y'all, I haven't had Chick-fil-A since I did like the only red food type of thing. And I love Chick. Y'all know Chick is my favorite place. So we're going to go to Chick and we're going to do a mukbang. So I'm going to go to chick-fil-a now i'm going to order the food and then we're probably just going to sit in the car and eat it um because i actually have to work today wow lighting is horrible i have to work today and i do not have time to go back to my apartment so yeah okay guys we just pulled up to chick i'm probably gonna get a eight count nugget hi Hi, welcome to Chick-fil-A. Can I get a name for your order? Diamond. Why right, Diamond, how many serve you today? Can I get the eight count, um, the meal? And the drink with it? Can I get a cookies and cream milkshake? Sure. Anything else? Uh, actually, for the cookies and cream milkshake, can you add whipped cream but no cherry? Uh, yeah, sure. And then, um, one chocolate chip cookie. One chocolate chip cookie. Yeah. Would you like any sauces? Um, Polynesian and Chick Fil A. That's right, gonna be eleven dollars and thirty nine cents. Here you go. Thank you. My pleasure. Easy receipt. Oh, thank you. Have a nice day. You too. Okay, y'all. We just got the chick back secured. Um, I'm super super excited y'all because last time I just could get a spicy chicken sandwich and the spicy chicken sandwich was good But I normally eat the nuggets. So we love that Okay, y'all I just got my food. I thought the camera was recording when she handed it to me, but it wasn't I thought this was small. Do y'all see how big this is? But it is what it is. I love the cookies and cream milkshake Let's get out of the drive through so we can actually eat our food and we can do this mukbang for y'all guys so we just parked it is currently 12 38 i don't have to go to work to three but um i asked on instagram what are wow let me answer this phone call and then i'll continue what i was saying okay back to what i was talking about y'all um i asked on instagram first of all it's hot as hell i don't know why i thought i could turn the call off and be like cute but this is not working um i asked y'all on instagram what are some topics i should talk about and let's see what some of y'all said let's see wow we got a lot of good topics but i think the topic that i'm going to choose trust me i'm probably going to cover all these topics in a later video or like another video because there are some good ones but i think the topic i'm going to choose is life in miami like just because where i'm from i'm from the dmv for y'all who don't know it's currently snowing so the damn filming this is wednesday december 16th it is currently snowing and then right now in miami it is 80 degrees outside and it is sunny so i feel like I might as well just film it because it's also december so um life in miami okay i have a lot to say about life in miami i just feel like life in miami i'm opening up the straw for my drink y'all life in miami is totally different than life in pg county um It's really thick. Are you, do y'all start with your fries or your sandwich? I start with my fries first because I don't like cold fries. So, I start with the fries. And do y'all like Chick fil A sauce or a Polynesian or what other other sauce y'all like? I like both. But anyway, I don't even know where to start. Okay, let's just start from the beginning. I'm just gonna name some things. Driving in Miami is totally different than driving in the DMV. Let me tell you why. Miami people cannot drive. Also, I'm gonna touch on everything. Also, they speed like no other. Like, I swear I don't ever see speed limit signs. Like, I'm not even messing with y'all. I don't ever see speed limit signs. Like, I don't. But, I mean, I feel like the bare minimum people be going on the highway 
is like 80. And people will ride you, so you better ride fast. Um, and people are like, oh, you don't get pulled over? I really feel like people, I don't really see people ever get pulled over. And I feel like the reason is because the cops know they can't drive either. And the cops also be speeding. Also, when I say people in Miami can't drive, people in Miami really cannot drive. Like, like I told y'all, we they speed on the highway. Or just speed in general. Why are we reversing on the highway? I'm confused. Someone explain that to me. We're going 80 plus miles and you want to reverse on the highway. Why? Why? That's illegal. Like, what are y'all doing? Also, only in Miami do you see a car, every single car accident has five or more cars. You want to know why? Because people cannot drive. They do not use blinkers. If you use a blinker, people will speed up and they will not let you over. So you don't use your blinkers. Long story short. Um... You gotta be really aggressive driver. I feel like that's pretty much it. Next, people in Miami are aggressive. Like, so aggressive. Like, y'all. I'll be walking down the street, and sometimes I have AirPods in, and someone will be like, oh, you're pretty, da da da. I may have not heard them or whatever, and they will realize, stop, and be like, I said you're pretty. Like, hello. And I'm just looking at them like, my guy, fall back. And I asked multiple people about that, and they're like, yeah, men in Miami are super, super aggressive. Like, extremely aggressive. Also, um, I feel like, I'm not sure this categorized under aggressive, but I'll be walking, and I feel like they're just brave. Like, what? Like, brave. I'll be walking in a town center or something. This has happened to me multiple times, y'all. A guy in probably like a Range Rover or like an other nice car or whatever will pull up. And be like, hey, what like, what's your name type of thing? I'm like, I keep walking like, don't worry about it, you know? They will literally be like, get out their car, be like, I'll let you drive my Range Rover if you let me know your name. Like, what? You're gonna let me drive your Range if I tell you my name? Like, what? Yeah. Also, the way of living, I feel like is similar to the DMV, but also very different. Like, I don't know, like, the way you're living in Miami, hmm, how do you explain it? Like, it's really just, mm -hmm. I feel like people in Miami, wow, let me answer this and I'll, call you, I'll talk to y'all right back. Okay, y'all, that's what I was talking about. Living in Miami, I feel like it's just different. Like, the lifestyle is different. Um, I feel like the DMV is super, super small. So, everybody kind of knows everybody. Everybody's in everyone's business. And from what I can just tell, I mean, obviously, Miami is bigger. But people just be minding their business doing them. And I also feel like, personally, everybody in the DMV do the exact same thing. Like, is it just me? But y'all just are like. Y'all all look the same. Like, are y'all robots? Like, I'm not trying to be throwing no shade to nobody, but everybody in the DMV does the exact same thing. They look the same. They dress the same. They shop from the same place. Like, can I please get some something new, something different? Can we get variety? Like, please. Thank you. Like, in Miami, you're not going to see that. Like, you're going to see a whole, like, everybody kind of has their own different style, but also in Miami, people wear wedges, slides, and heels 24 7 like sometimes you know people wear sneakers if they go into the gym but also lifestyle people in miami i'm not gonna say everybody but fitness is huge in miami like big like big people stay going to the gym or stay in their workout clothes and i'm here for it as i'm eating my chick-fil-a what else Mm. Honestly though Miami is just a different experience Different lifestyle like, Sometimes I feel like Miami is their own country How they move Like Just how they move And 
people like you really have to be super super aggressive being down here and I feel like when I was in the DMV I was aggressive but not as aggressive but in Miami I feel like you have to be 10 times more aggressive like what if you want something done I'm gonna be aggressive like I was on the phone with um FIU and I was I was trying to be nice and polite nah baby that wasn't working the minute you get aggressive with them what you want done gets done like simple as that also people will dead ass y'all dead ass like you like people as y'all know a lot of people speak spanish down here not everybody speaks spanish and not everybody speaks english but you'll hear someone speaking english and then they'll come up to and when you ask them a question like if i'm in a store or something they'll be like no i'm like english girl you were just speaking english like two seconds ago like that be blowing me like blown me because it's like you were just speaking english but whatever and this is that y'all people be asking me like how's the weather the weather in miami is nice um during hurricane season you did get a lot of off and on rain since i think mm, probably like in end of october beginning of november we start really getting a lot of on and off rain at least where i live at but you it can be drizzling where i am and i can get on the highway and go somewhere else and it's not raining but that is what it is but the weather is good people ask me is it really humid as people say it is i personally feel like in the summer it's beyond humid like it's not even hot it's humid and then humid is worse than being hot but now like since we're in like the winter weather it's not as humid like it's not really i don't even think it's humid at all hmm yeah i know also y'all let me show y'all this so pretty much there are no speed cameras it's only red light tickets like so that's a sign there'd be no speed cameras like in school zones you won't see not one speeding camera you will see red tickets like a lot of like red tickets like y'all know what i mean if you want a red light you get a ticket but it don't be no speed cameras y'all like people be speeding like no other what else mm. this is a big one i kid y'all not it's a shopping center or a plaza every light or every two lights like i don't understand that but there's a plaza or shopping center every light or like yeah, like every single light, and I'm just be confused. Like, what the hell is going on? But hey, is if you're if you have plazas, make your money, make your money, sis. But always a plaza. Also, I feel like something that I like more about Miami than I like about the DMV is there ain't nothing to do in the DMV. Once you go to all the museums, what you gonna do? nothing baby there's pop-ups like virgil's having a pop-up in design district i think that one is in the mid end of january so i'm gonna ask ashley if she wants to go to that but it'd be pop up to new york cafe what else it'd be like a whole bunch of like random little activities that be popping up but like and a whole bunch of like real like artsy places that you can take pictures like the pink garage um I took pictures on that on my Instagram. Um, what else? It just be, it just, I just personally feel like there's way more to do in Miami than there is the DMV. People think just because there's like the DC and the Capitol and all that other stuff, baby, that stuff is not fun. <laughs> Don't nobody want to go do that. But, yeah. What else do I do? Also, the food is way better than a DMV. Way better. Like, bomb. This is a place called PDQ next to me. Best. I, honestly, their spicy chicken sandwich, it's called Buffy Blue. But their Buffy Blue is way better than Chick-fil-A spicy sandwich. And y'all know I love chick. And I will never go against chick. But it definitely has chick top. Like, bomb. What else? I think that's pretty much it for food. But okay, we're just done. I'm done with these fries, y'all. I need to eat my nuggets because I'm tired of eating these fries. Also, 
What's something else? Okay, y'all. I got my nuggets. I'm about to eat these. Dang, look how fresh these look. Can y'all see that? Oh, let me film a thing. Let me get a boomerang. Oh my, yes. Oh my God, y'all. I have to tell y'all about this. In Miami, you are going to see so many bad botched butts, boobs, tummy tucks, everything. Every single thing. Like, when my cousins were down here, we were like literally playing a game who could count the most in a day. Like, it'd be bad. Like, I don't understand it. It'd be so bad. Like, but it, what I do realize is, like, in those shopping centers, like, I told y'all there's a plaza. There do be, like, some of them, not all of them, but there do be plazas or shopping centers that have plastic surgeons, like, or plastic surgery places in the shopping center. Like, I ain't, I mean, for all I know, it could be the best surgeon in the world in there, but I feel like that's weird. Why every, almost every shopping center has a plastic surgeon in it, but, like, mind my business, but... That's another thing. But overall, y'all, I love Miami way more than the DMV. I won't say that I will never go back and live in the DMV, but at this current time in my life, I won't. Like, I don't know what the future holds, so maybe in the future I may go back and want to live in the DMV again. But honestly, since being out in Miami, it's made me so motivated, so hungry, um, because... I don't know, like, just being around all these people, like, you're gonna see all different types of people, like, you're gonna see different walks of life, people with different experiences, some, some people came, just came to this country, like, all of this stuff, and it's just like, first of all, it's mind-blowing, second of all, I feel like you don't know diversity, or you don't know culture until you come to Miami, like, I just feel like it's just, it hits totally different, and I'm pretty sure as y'all can see, compared to what it was, compared to what my content was before I left the DMV, like, I'm posting way more content now that I'm in Miami. I just feel way more motivated, way more like I have a purpose, like, Miami just, I don't know. I'm not, I also like that it's sunny majority of the time. It's warm weather, cause I hate cold weather. Do I like to dress for cold weather? Hell yeah, but do I like cold weather? No, not for me. So, I definitely love that aspect, and I think that's another reason why it keeps me motivated, but I'm just so grateful that I was able to move to Miami, and I definitely do feel like if you're like if you're able to and you're like young or even if you're not young like you definitely need to step out your comfort zone and move away from where you grew up with or move away from what your comfort is because i feel like personally you can see the difference in growth between people who have moved from their own from their home city or home state to somewhere else because you're on your own most likely you're down there by yourself or down there up there by yourself you don't know nobody when things go wrong yeah you can call your family and be like yeah this is happening but at the end of the day you have to handle it no one's there to handle it like so when i have problems with my tires like yeah i can call and say yeah my tire did it up but in the day i have to make the appointment i have to go there i have to talk to the x y and z i have to handle it so it's like i just feel like personally just being this far from my and i'm not super far but i am far being far from my family has definitely i've definitely grown so much and i definitely took a leap to move from the dmv from everything i knew from the dmv to miami was i scared out my mind hell yes because not only was i moving by myself i'm moving in the middle of a pandemic so you don't know what state of the world is in if we, if we were going to go back on lockdown or what um Yeah, like, I just really feel like being my being in Miami is probably one of the best decisions I have made. Um, and I'm so grateful that I made it, and I'm glad I did not go anywhere else. And I'm glad I decided to actually go to Miami and live down here. And what's it called? So, yeah. Also, guys, another thing that is different from the DMV is the fashion. The fashion in Miami, like, if you, like, like luxury shop, they have everything 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 and if design district don't have it aventura can have it if aventura doesn't have it ball harbor will have it like everything so 
that is super super nice also people think that we only get like summer clothes all year long the same things that y'all talkers be having and y'all Forever 21's be having in the winter time or h and we have the exact same thing the only difference is, is that we sell bathing suits all year long other than that they sell sweatpants they sell jeans they sell um puffer coats longer coats thicker coats sweaters all of that because even though people be like it don't really get cold in Miami we do get like those cold like those random cold days so I know it's not cold if I lived up north and I was visiting it probably would not be that cold but now that I've lived down here it does get cold like it looks randomly like we'll have a random like 50 degree day and it's windy like when it's windy it makes it 10 times worse than what it would have been if that makes sense um we sometimes get 60 days but when it drops down to like below 70 and it's windy it's so cold and people are like that's not cold girl it's like 20 degrees up here I don't care I live in Miami now that's cold like I need a jacket I need to layer up am I gonna walk outside with a North Face puffer coat on no but am I gonna layer up with a hoodie and jean jacket yes am I gonna wear Uggs yes like it does get cold occasionally like I feel like Miami weather is the type of weather that gets you sick though because I told y'all it's 83 degrees right now and I think it was two days ago it was like 60s throughout the day and it dropped down to the 50s in the evening and then the next day after that it shot up to the 80 to 85 like 85 degrees 86 degrees so it's like that's the weather that gets people sick because we just was wearing coats and uggs and then now we went back to wearing shorts like that's just my personal opinion also people have been asking me how it is living in miami and like they're the hot spot of covid personally honestly honestly when i first got down here i feel i felt way safer being down here than in the dmv because i feel like they took extra precautions such as like sanitizing all the grocery carts um what else like counting like making sure x amount of people are in the store and no more you know wearing face masks providing face masks when you go in the store if you don't have one like i just spilled polynesia sauce on my pants we love that I'm trying to clean this up first. Hold on. Also, y'all, another thing that I feel like people fail to realize is you can get tested anywhere in Miami. I feel like what from what I've heard and what like some of my family has experienced is that you can't get tested anywhere at any time. And like back at home. But here, like we'll go CVS and get tested. Go to CVS and get tested. Like you can pretty much get tested anywhere. You don't need an appointment. Or like you don't have to call your doctor for a, a referral or anything like that i think you do need an appointment though but you don't gotta call your doctor for a referral which is like honestly one of the biggest things also also i feel like one of the biggest adjustments to me was they don't have no grocery stores like walmart is the grocery store walmart or Publix or target people say when dixie but there's no when dixie next to me so walmart target or public first of all who is shopping for groceries at target i don't get produce from target to me personally target's produce looks old or like i feel like it looks like it'll get you sick so that just leaves Publix and walmart Publix does not sell everything in my opinion everything that i eat or everything that i like it does not sell so now at least walmart and for me personally like i'm not throwing no shade to walmart but i grew up where there were shoppers giant safeway walmart um Wegmans, Whole Foods. What else is there? It's probably some other random grocery stores I don't know. But I grew up with a variety of stuff, like of grocery stores. Girl, no. Everybody go to shopping at Walmart. Walmart or Publix. Don't nobody go. You can go to Target and get like little snacks, but that's rare. But um, I thought that was super, super weird and interesting. Like I was looking for a Whole Foods one day. I mean Whole Foods. What? I was looking for a Wegmans one day. There's no Wegmans down here. But yeah. But yeah, I think let's see. Okay, so okay guys, so I did go back on my Instagram because now I'm getting way more questions. People ask how the people how are the people, so I'm just gonna like kinda touch on it real quick. I kinda touched on it about the men, but overall, honestly y'all, everybody just minds their business. Like it's not it's not like I don't personally feel like you get that southern hospital hospitality that people like think of, but yeah, 
you just don't get that. People mind them business. People are very, very aggressive. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, someone asked, like, what do you eat? I eat the same things that I would eat in a DMV. Like, they just have Chipotle, all that. But I do eat PDQ. I told you about that. That's like a kind of fast food restaurant, uh, fast food, like, place or whatever. And then restaurant-wise, um, I don't know. I do get to, like, this little seafood boil place. I forgot what it's called. I gotta ask my cousin because she's the one who introduced me to it. But overall, like, the food is pretty much the same thing that I normally eat. And then someone else said, what's your favorite part about it? Uh, I thought I'd just explain that. Like, my favorite part living in Miami is the weather. Um, there's so many things to do at the end of the day. Like, if you're bored, you're bored because you don't want to go out. Like, there's never a reason why you There's like, I don't go to the beach. But if you like to go to the beach, you go to the beach. There's pop-up shops. There's restaurants. There's dinner. There's lunch. There's a whole bunch of places. And I feel like, especially on TikTok, TikTok will introduce you to a whole bunch of places you can go. Because Florida is a big spot. And then there are a lot of places in Miami that you can go. And pros and cons about living in Miami. My pro is... I feel very, very motivated being, motivated being down here and um, the weather. My con is, I don't know, what is my con? My con is when it rains, oh my God, bruh, the streets flood. Like, it don't matter where you at, the streets flood. That is a con and that blows me. Oh, another pro is... I love that I can see airplanes no matter where I am in, in Miami. Like, you always want to see an airplane. And I feel like, for me personally, seeing an airplane is very motivating because it's like, baby, like, this is what you, if you want to go on a plane, you can. Like, go where you want to go. Go where you aspire to be. So, yeah, that's another pro. But, con is the streets flooding. And I feel like another con would be, I don't know. I don't really mind people being aggressive because I probably would be aggressive or rude right back. So, yeah. Um, a con... A con would be minimum wage, y'all. Minimum wage is eight dollars and seventy-five cents. I'm sorry, what? That's change. That is change. That is change. Like who's working for eight dollars and seventy-five cents? Like that is ridiculous. Like I don't understand that, especially when the DMV, DC, I think it's like fourteen, fourteen, and Maryland, I think it's ten something. But that blew my mind. That is a major con. Like that is so annoying. And people say, how's the weather? Weather is nice. When it's summer, it is very, very humid, and it rains on and off in the summer. Uh, people say, do I miss Maryland? I do not miss Maryland. Um, I feel like being in Maryland really pigeonholed me, and I really was not motivated in Maryland, and I really just feel like Maryland, I kind of outgrew Maryland at the time. Like I told you, I won't say I would never go back to Maryland, but at the moment, um, I do not see myself going back to Maryland at this current point in my life. I just feel like I outgrew Maryland at the time. Maybe later down the line, I will feel like, you know, I'm meant to be back in Maryland, but I don't miss Maryland. Um, yeah. I think that is all. So I hope you guys enjoyed this mukbang with me. I'm going to get ready to go to work. But can you guys please like, comment, share, subscribe. And if you haven't already, go check out my previous Vlogmas um, videos. And I'll talk to y'all tomorrow. Adios.